Welcome to an example on how to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix using an augmented matrix. The first step is to create an augmented matrix in the form where the left side is matrix A of the given matrix and the right side is an identity matrix. Then we perform row operations resulting in an augmented matrix in the form where the left side becomes the identity matrix and the right side will be the inverse of matrix A. So the main idea is to set up the augmented matrix where matrix A is on the left side of the matrix, perform row operations to form the identity matrix from matrix A, and the right side will be A inverse or the inverse of the original matrix. So because we're given a three by three matrix, we'll have the given matrix on the left, and on the right side we'll have a three by three identity matrix. So we'll have a three by six augmented matrix, where the first three columns will come from matrix A, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth columns will come from a three by three identity matrix. So we would have one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, zero, one. And a lot of times you'll see the augmented matrix divided in half. Now we'll perform our operations, so the augmented matrix has a three by three identity matrix on the left or looks just like this matrix here. In this form, the three columns on the left would be the inverse of matrix A. So we'll start by obtaining zeros in the correct positions and then make sure this diagonal here consists only of ones. Let's start by obtaining a zero in this position here. Notice the element above it is negative two, so if this was positive four, we could then add row two and three to obtain a zero. So let's replace row three with negative two times row two plus row three. Let's also obtain a zero in this position here using row one and row two. The least common multiple of two and three is six. So if we multiply row one by two, then add it to three times row two, we would have a zero here. So two times row one, plus three times row two. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and obtain a zero in this position here. Notice the element below it is positive one. So let's go ahead and replace row one with row one plus row two. Notice we're performing three different row operations all in one step. So starting in the first row, we'll add row one and row two. So three plus negative two is one. Three plus negative two is one again. Negative one plus one is zero. One plus zero is one. Zero plus one is one. And zero plus zero is zero. We need to be extra careful on the second row operation. We have two times row one plus three times row two. So two times three is six plus three times negative two, that's negative six, so that's zero. Two times three is six plus Three times negative two is negative six, that's also zero. Next we have two times negative one, that's negative two, plus three times one, that's plus three, so that's positive one. Next we have two times one, that's two, plus three times zero, that's still two. Two times zero is zero, plus three times one is three, so that's three. Two times zero is zero, plus three times zero is still zero. For row three, we have negative two times row two plus row three. So negative two times negative two is positive four plus negative four, that's zero. Negative two times negative two is positive four plus negative five, that's negative one. Negative two times one, that's negative two plus two, that's zero. And then we have negative two times zero, that's zero plus zero, still zero. Negative two times one, that's negative two plus zero, so negative two. 
and negative two times zero plus one is one. So we made a lot of good progress so far. Notice we could obtain a zero in this position here if we replace row one with row one plus row three. Let's go ahead and do that. But notice how row two has a zero in column one and column two, which would be better if it was in row three. So let's go ahead and interchange row two and row three. So for row one we have one plus zero, that's one. One plus negative one, that's zero. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. One plus negative two is negative one. And finally, zero plus one is one. And then we're gonna interchange row two and row three. So we have zero, negative one, zero, zero, negative two, one. And zero, zero, one, two, three, zero. Notice how we're almost there now. This first element in row two has to be positive one. So for our last step, we're gonna replace row two with negative one times row two. Row one and row three stay the same. And then multiplying by negative one is gonna change the sign of all the elements in row two. So we'll have zero, one, zero, zero, positive two, negative one. Now notice this augmented matrix is in the form that we need where the left side of the augmented matrix is a three by three identity matrix, which means the right side is A inverse of the inverse of the original three by three matrix. So A inverse is equal to a three by three matrix where row one is one, negative one, one, Row two is zero, two, negative one, and row three is two, three, zero. Which means that A times A inverse is equal to A inverse times A, which would be equal to a three by three identity matrix. Okay, hope you found this explanation helpful. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.